Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level biology for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of immunity, and in particular, the adaptive immune response. I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level biology with our helpful video tutorials tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button. And whilst you're watching, feel free to leave any comments down below of anything you're unsure about, and let us know if it's your first time watching so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the specification. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson three of six in this tutorial, covering the adaptive immune response. This is the third video in our series of six lessons on the topic of immunity. In the last lesson, we were looking at the three main primary defences in the body and the steps of phagocytosis. Here are the key learning objectives for today's lesson. First, we'll be looking at T-cell and cell-mediated immunity then at cytotoxic T cells. We'll then cover B cells and humoral immunity, and finally look at memory B cells. Here are the AQA specification points for today's lesson. Feel free to pause the video now and have a quick read through them before we begin. We'll start off by looking at the responses of T lymphocytes. Earlier, we discussed how leukocytes, which are macrophages and neutrophils, break down pathogens via phagocytosis, and also how they can present antigens. These antigen-presenting cells will activate the adaptive response. There are three major leukocytes which carry out antigen presentation. These are dendritic cells, neutrophils, and macrophages. When macrophages and dendritic cells phagocytose foreign pathogens. They show the antigens to the innate immune system. There are two types of lymphocyte. These are T cells and B cells. T cells will kill pathogens and activate B cells. They come from the bone marrow and they mature in the thymus. They are activated by macrophages or other antigen-presenting cells. The T helper cells can activate the B cells and the cytotoxic T cells. The B cells will primarily produce antibodies and memory cells. They originate and mature in the bone marrow. They can be activated by T helper cells. T cells will come from the bone marrow, where they create adult stem cells. Immature cells will be transported to the thymus. Here, they can undergo maturation and clonal deletion. Let's look at the stages of T cell action. First, we have phagocytosis and antigen presentation. The T helper cells are activated by the antigen presenting cells. Upon activation, the main role of the T helper cells is to activate the pathogen specific TC, TM, and B cells. The T helper cells also produce cytokines that increase the production and proliferation of these cells. This will produce interferons, which increase the immune response. The cytotoxic T cells will launch a direct attack on a particular pathogen. And the T memory cells will provide long-term immunity. We'll learn about memory cells later on. B cells will produce antibodies specific to the pathogen. Here's a quick summary of all the stages of T cell action.
Let's look at the mechanism of cytotoxic T cells next. The main purpose of these is to kill virus infected cells by causing apoptosis or programmed cell death. T cells bind to the MHC molecules of an infected cell. Then, perforins, which are proteins, are produced. These will perforate the cell membrane. The cytotoxic T cells will produce enzymes known as granzyme A and granzyme B. These will pass through the pierced holes in the membrane and into the cell. Granzyme A will catalyse reactions which poison the target cell, whilst granzyme B catalyzes the reactions which destroy the target cell. When a cytotoxic T cell binds to a target cell, the FAS ligand binds to the FAS receptor, which is found on the cell surface membrane of most cells. This leads to the activation of apoptosis. Before apoptosis, it produces and secretes interferon proteins. Antibodies can deal with these virus cells. Antibodies are constantly present in the bloodstream and inside tissues. Here's a summary of what cytotoxic T cells do. Now, let's look at the response of B lymphocytes to a foreign antigen. B cells, like T cells, are each specific against a particular antigen and pathogen. Similarly, a particular B cell will be activated by a particular T helper cell. This is the stepwise process that occurs. The T helper cell will activate the pathogen specific B cells, which can then proliferate via mitosis. After prol proliferation, the B cells can then differentiate into plasma or other B cells. There are two types of B cells, plasma B cells and memory B cells. Plasma cells are short-lived cells which produce large amounts of antibodies against a particular antigen. Their main function occurs during the primary immune response. Memory B cells are mainly involved in the secondary immune response when the body is reinfected by the same pathogen. Upon secondary infection of the same pathogen, the memory B cells are able to rapidly differentiate into the plasma B cells in order to quickly produce antibodies against the pathogen. In doing so, the second time the infection occurs, the body is able to fight it much more quickly and effectively than the primary infection. This is known as immunological memory. This immunological memory is what provides many organisms, including humans, with the long-term immunity against particular pathogens. Here's a diagrammatic summary of humoral immunity. We've now covered the learning objectives for today's lesson. If there's anything you feel unsure about, feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch it. We've now completed lesson three. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe by clicking down below and leaving a comment of the topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch the rest of our videos in our A-level biology series, or visit our website, studymind.co.uk, for past paper compilations by topic and specification.